All right, do you want to create a nice diagram or a blueprint for your house or even an infographic but don't know any technical skills or don't have any technical skills and really don't want to spend any money? Then Gliffy is the thing for you. Uh, I have no affiliation with Gliffy and I'm not a salesman for them. I just think that it's a pretty solid tool and I'll show you why. So in this next modern lesson, we're going to talk about how they have a drag and drop software that you can use right on the web. You don't need to download anything. Um, and it's being used by a lot of major companies, as you can, as you can see down here. Uh, so if you're a part of a major company looking to become a major company or really just want to make some diagrams for your classroom for free, then Gliffy is awesome. Uh, basically, you can just go to gliffy.com and whatever the the word Gliffy means, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because their tool is pretty fabulous. And if you can't tell by now that I'm excited about it, then I don't know, but it's great. So anyway, we'll click on try it now, free exclamation, uh, and it will just load up a web-based interface. And it's as simple as that. You don't even need to log in. You don't need to register or anything like that. There's different price tiers once you actually want to use this all the time. But really, you get five free Gliffies uh, or saves, basically, and a little bit of file storage with a free account. So it's bas it's literally a free tool, and you can buy more space if you want, but it works just fine and fully for free people. Uh, so let's say we want to create, I don't know, an org chart, because that's exciting. Who doesn't love org charts? Uh, it gives you some templates right here, which is pretty cool. Let's say we're making one for our aptly named organization. We'll just double click on that and it'll bring it up um, pretty quickly. Everything is pretty responsive here. Uh, and I've tried this on the iPad. It works pretty well on there, just so you know. But in general, all you have right now is your built-in chart. You can click and move stuff around. You double click if you want to change things. So we'll just change the CEO to the name Modern Lessons. And let's say that is too big. We can move it over. We can move this over here. We can move that over there. And if you want to start pivoting things, you can tilt them. If you hold down shift, it moves it in a little more blockier uh, movement. And then just hit delete, it'll delete it. And it'll just keep moving the line of the flow chart as you navigate around here, which I think is pretty awesome. You don't need to go through and move each single line as it connects to each box. Uh, so we'll leave it as it is, but let's move it a little bit up just so I can demonstrate. And let's say we want to change this one and then this person now works a little over here, but we want to add something in there. Uh, we want to add in a shape. We'll just click up here. We got a little rectangle tool and it's as simple as that. Um, basically, you can just then double click on it. You type in your name and boom, you have another flow chart there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you can click over here on the right to zoom in if you want to go in nice and up close. Um, and it's just beyond simple. It uses flash, as you can see. Um, so let's see, we can do image search and you can really just go through and change whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna then create a new thing, a new item, and we'll just make it blank this time. So let's say we don't need that flow chart and we wanna instead start working on a floor plan. Uh, if we're an architect, this is pretty simple to use and great for just sketching stuff out. Um, as you can see, you can add in doors, you can move things around, make them bigger. If you hold down shift, it'll move it proportionally uh, and maintain the perspective. And then if you click the little arrow thing, it'll adjust how the door swings open. So let's have stairs going right up to a door that swings out right by that. There you go, uh, which seems to be a fireplace or something. Actually, it looks like an old TV. I'm not an architect, so don't judge me. Anyway, let's say that this is exactly what we want, that this is perfect, that we've labored for hours on this. All you do is go to File, and you can export it. Uh, you can save it as an SVG, Scale Vector Graphic, or an XML, which is for Gliffy, which is great if you want to import it back into a different account or something. But really, if you just want a flattened image, which is what most people want, you can just save it as a JPEG or a PNG file, which has a transparent background. 
So we'll just save it as a JPEG and it'll ask you to create an account in order to do that. So that's what I said, it gets you started and gets you hooked and then it wants you to actually create an account. So you can just do sign up for free and fill out all this information and then we can learn about the pricing. So as I mentioned before, you get a certain number of diagrams, you get about five uh, and you can do a free 30 day trial. But once you start using it a lot, then you're probably gonna want to try the $5 a month plan. Um, and at some point you might need the $10 a month plan, but that's totally up to you, of course. So let's say we exported that and it's great, but oh, we wanted to go back to our other flow chart. It's still up here in the tab. So it's like a tab within a tab within a tab of your browser. Um, there's a ton of other stuff you can do. I'm not gonna walk through everything, but if we wanted to add to our flow chart, you can add in tons of stuff. You can add in pentagons and arrows and cylinders, you know, who doesn't love a good cylinder in a flow chart? Uh, and there's just, tons of stuff so I'll leave leave it up to you to play around with it but I definitely recommend at least checking this out you can even make infographics since this is what that's what the course is about um, you can do a little clouds you can be all about cloud computing they have a lot of images but one of the best things that you can do is add in your own images so you just click images and upload an image again that's a pro account so we're not gonna or it's requires registration rather so we're not going to do that right now but you can upload your own images and make something really fancy and use their drag and drop interface it's really fun easy to use and i'd recommend checking it out see you on the next modern lesson thanks